Hello everybody, welcome back to another video for you today. Last video, you saw the unboxing video. Oh my god, guys, you loved that video, guys. You're already giving me requests to get, you know, the Intercontinental Championship, the United States Championship. And today we have a very special video for you today since you love the wrestling content. Today I'll be doing a tier list on every single Universal Champion. So that basically means like every single one of like Brock Lesnar's reigns, Goldberg's reigns, Bray Wyatt's reigns. I'll be ranking every single one of them. And you'll see my opinions and everything. And I also obviously I have my Universal Championship with me. And if you do guys still love the wrestling content, make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So you don't miss out on any new videos. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okie dokie, everybody. We are here with the Universal Championship tier list, everybody. So basically, let's say, like, we're going to go through every single one of them in order from 2016, the first Universal Champion, to the current Universal Champion. Alright, so we're not going to waste any more time, guys. I got everything sorted out. Let's go into it. So, today, so first, we're going to start with the man, the demon, Finn Balor. So unfortunately, guys, during the match, he injured himself when he won the Universal Championship. So I'm going to have to put him in a D tier. It honestly kind of hurts doing it because I love Finn Balor. He's one of my favorite superstars ever. But he held it for less than a day, so I can't put him anywhere else. I would have loved to see Finn Balor's reign. I think he would have held it for probably over a year and a half, maybe. But he goes into a D tier because he held it for less than a day. All right, Finn Balor, D tier. Next up is Kevin Owens. So Kevin Owens won this championship in a fatal four-way match, I believe, against Roman, Seth Rollins, and Big Cass. Uh, you know what? The match was banging, too. His, uh, his title reign... I liked his title reign for the promos he did and then the matches he had. He didn't put on any horrible matches. There's a lot of them weren't memorable. I don't remember all of his uh, championship matches. I do only remember Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens at the Royal Rumble. That's all I really remember. But I do know he had another, cu another couple good matches. So And he held that championship for 188 days. So that's probably one of, probably one of the best Universal Championship run reigns. Because the promos were good, the matches were okay, were actually pretty good. So honestly, I'll put him into B tier. Solid reign. Was it long? Not real. It was yes and no. You know, it was pretty good. But then he got squashed, of course, by Goldberg. So that was the end of this championship reign. Anyways, Kevin Owens B tier. Next up, we got Goldberg's first Universal Championship reign. Now. I don't know if I want to put this in C or D because, honestly, almost all of Goldberg's reigns are almost trash. Goldberg held this championship for his first reign for 27 days, and then he dropped it to Brock at WrestleMania 33. The match was actually pretty good. Um, nah, I, it, I don't think it was as good as some of these other championship reigns, so I'm going to have to put it into a D tier. His, his Universal Championship reigns were kind of trash. So, And I love Goldberg, but I, I just can't put it anywhere else. So he, it has to go into a D tier. All right, next up, we got Brock Lesnar's first Universal Championship reign. Keep in mind, guys, that Brock Lesnar held this championship three times. So this was the reign when he held it for 503 days. And I love how... And, but, but, but... He was a part-time champion. So I cannot put him... In the S category. That's the reason. Because I can't put him there. When he was a part time champion. But. There's a reason why I will put him in the S tier. Wait no. I will put him in S tier. Because the, the matches he had. Were really good. And he held it for 503 days. I do. Oh yeah. Because he also had. His match against Samoa Joe. At Great Wilds of Fire. He had a fatal four way match. Against Roman. Braun Strowman. And Samoa Joe. That one was really good. He did face Roman a lot, so I wasn't really too into it. But, honestly, that's one of the best reigns ever. I'm going to have to put that in S tier. Because he made that championship look important. He was looking important. But he was a part-timer, so he's not the greatest of all time. Alright, so next up, we got Roman Reigns' first Universal Championship reign. This one's kind of hard, hard to rank because he only got to defend it three times before his leukemia came in. So, he had the match against Finn Balor. That one was really good. Then he had his match against Braun Strowman at Hell in a, Hell in a Cell. That one was okay. 
It wasn't crazy. And then he had his match against Baron Corbin, which I did not like. And anything with Baron Corbin, they just did not mix. Then, of course, he had to vacate it. I'm not going to put it in D tier. I'll put it in the C category. I think if he didn't have his leukemia, the reign would have been a lot better. So I'm just going to put it right there. Next up, we got Brock Lesnar's second reign as Universal Champion. He held this championship for, I think, 153, six days? Yeah. And he, he only defended it two times when he was part-time champion, again. But the matches were really good. So I think it's better than Kevin Owens' reign because his matches were better. So? Oh, shit. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, got it. There we go. So honestly, solid reign. Was it long? Not really, but you know, it were good matches. So I'm going to I'm going to put it there. It was a very these were very good matches. But then he, of course, he lost to Seth Rollins at WrestleMania 35, which was a banger of a match. Which gets into our next Universal Champion. Seth Rollins. I got to give props to Seth Rollins because he defended his championship 19 times. The highest right now is Roman Reigns with, I believe, 21, which is about to be 22 on September 3rd. So he held this championship for about, I think, 89 days, and he held it nine, and defended it 19 times. I think if you're being that consistent... But you were, he was facing Corbin so many times, so that got kind of boring. But he had some good matches. He had a good match against Kofi, good match against AJ Styles. Yeah, you know what? A lot of his matches were really, really good. So I'll put him in the B tier. He wasn't, it wasn't a crazy champion, but, you know, I'll, I'll put him in the B tier. But, and then he lost the championship to Brock Lesnar because he cashed in his money in the bank. So that's when we get to our next champion, Brock Lesnar's third reign as Universal Champion. He only held it for 27 days, but the match was really was pretty good against Seth Rollins. I'm into, I just like Brock Lesnar matches, that's all. So, you know, I'll put him in C tier. He didn't do much, so I'll, I'll put him right there. It wasn't crazy. Next up, we got Seth Rollins' second reign. I think what really killed this reign was against The Fiend. I think that really killed it. I cannot remember much of his reign at all. But he held it for 90 days. The match was not that good. But when he got to crown Jewel against the Fiend. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm just going to have to put him to D tier. If that offends some people, I'm sorry. I just don't remember mu much of his matches. Except for the Fiend when he fought him. That was a good match. That's all I'm going to That's all I'm gonna say. Actually. No. no actually, no. We're going to put him at C tier. You know, because Seth Rollins is a good, it looks good as champion. Next up, we got Bray Wyatt's The Fiend's first Universal Championship reign. He held this championship for 118 days, and it was a very good title reign. He only got to defend it three times, but that's kind of his gimmick. It's kind of his gimmick to not defend it so many times. But the championship reign was really good. It's not A tier, but it was really good. He had a match against, I think, against The Miz, which was pretty good. Daniel Bryan versus The Fiend was fire. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That was a fire, fire match. And then, of course, Goldberg cut, took him down at Super Showdown. And, yeah, end of the reign, which pissed off a lot of people. So, I'm going to put Bray Wyatt in the B category. I think his championship reign was actually pretty good. So, I'm going to put it there. All right, Goldberg, trash. Who did he even defend it against? Wait, who did he... Oh, yeah, he only had one defense, and, it was, and he dropped it to Braun at WrestleMania, which wasn't even Braun's spot because it was supposed to be Roman's. <laughs> Anyways, Goldberg's reign, trash. So next up, we got the Monster Among Men. I think he only defended this championship three times. I, he, oh, I remember, yeah, he uh, defended at Money in the Bank against Bray Wyatt. It's rare that I like Braun Strowman matches after 2018, but that one was good. Then he had a uh, two-on-one handicap match against Miz and Morrison. That was okay. And then he lost it to The Fiend in a false count anywhere match. I just feel like after 2020, he held it for 141 days. But it's just, it wasn't a very good title reign. So I'm going to have to put it in the D, D category. It wasn't a memorable title reign. It was one of the worst, I think. All right. Next is Bray Wyatt. And I know I'm going to have to put this in D tier because he defended it one time and held it for... Six days. There is no way you guys can tell me that he had a, you had a successful title run in six days. 
I have to put him in D tier. D tier, dude. That is one of the worst championship reigns of all time. You cannot tell me wrong. You can't tell me anything. Next up is the head of the table, Roman Reigns. I don't really acknowledge him, but I'll acknowledge you today. On the time of recording this, he is the current Universal Champion, and I believe he has held the championship for 730 days. But I am going to look up the correct time since he was Universal Champion. Universal Championship. Just give me a minute, guys. Roman Reigns has held the Universal Championship for 300, for no, 730 days. And he has defended this championship 21 times times and honestly there wasn't really a bad defense except for Sami Zayn and Braun Strowman but guys there was a lot of very good matches you had the triple threat at Wrestlemania Edge Daniel Bryan versus Roman was really good Edge versus Roman was good Finn Balor versus Roman was amazing Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam was really good he solidified his reign as one of the greatest champions of all time that takes him into the S category and if you guys are going to watch Clash of the Castle, I know, I know I'm know, i going to be catching the clips on YouTube. I'll be catching everything on Twitter. And I hope Drew McIntyre wins because Roman Reigns has held that championship for way too long. <sighs> All right, that is the championship tier list for the Universal Champions. I hope you did enjoy this video, guys. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. And if you want to see more of this, definitely subscribe so you don't miss on any videos on the channel. Let me know in the comments, guys, what other uh, WWE tier lists or anything you want to see. If you want to see me do talk about WWE right now, talk about WWE in the past, or about champions, let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Peace!